Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria DeVette, if you are new. Today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me as well as talking about some products that were released in the month of March. It is officially April and I've kind of decided that I'm going to be doing a video like this at the beginning of each month to kind of talk about some new products that were released during the previous month as well as products that might not necessarily be new in general but new to me. I thought this would be a fun way to kind of branch out and talk about other things besides eyeshadow palettes. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is how I prepped my face. I have been working on modifying my skincare routine as well as trying out different products and trying to find what works best for me. So after washing my face, I used a hyaluronic acid. I'm currently testing out the one from The Ordinary. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I don't know if I'm going to permanently switch to this, but it is fairly nice. Next for moisturizer, I got this in my Boxy Charm last month in March. It is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. The packaging is so cute and it smells really good. It is very lightly scented, like banana. Kind of smells like banana Laffy Taffy. And next, I actually just picked this up like two days ago. It is the... I'm going to try my best to pronounce this as accurately as possible. I am trying to learn French. <laughs> It's not going very well, but it is the La Roche, Ro Roche? <laughs> La Roche Posay Mineral Anthelios Sunscreen Gentle Lotion. La Roche. La, La Roche. La Roche Posay. It is 50 SPF, which I always aim for when it comes to SPF, but I can pretty much say that this sunscreen was not meant for medium to dark skin tones because it definitely leaves a white cast. You can't really see it too much. It does fade a little bit over time. Yesterday when I applied it and done my foundation, you couldn't really see it because of course I had makeup on, but my neck was all white from when <laughs> from where I applied it. So I might only use that for my face. It is SPF 50, which is really good. It is more forgiving on my face because I can apply foundation. But other than the white cast, it feels really good on my face. It doesn't leave me oily or greasy and it doesn't affect my foundation when I do wear it, which is always a huge plus. So yeah, those are some new skincare products that I've been using. So let's get ready. So I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. I always start with my eyebrows. In most of my videos, I always have my eyebrows already done. I don't think I've ever done my eyebrows on camera except for the 31 days of Halloween when I would do like crazy eyebrows or things like that. So I'm just brushing them up with a spoolie. And I am going to use a little bit of soap on my eyebrows to hold them up because my eyebrow hairs are so thick and unruly, but they're also very sparse. I, I actually have them microbladed, micro shaded. I got them done um, two years ago and I went to a different artist last August to get them re-microbladed. And it had been so long after my first ever appointments that it was considered like a whole new thing. It wasn't really considered a touch up. So I'm just spraying my pears soap with some water I'm just taking some on my spoolie so i was supposed to get a touch up after my appointment in august but i am in portland and the artist is in san diego so i haven't been able to make it down there for my touch up appointment so right now they're not looking like they're really supposed to that initial appointment is so important it really is what gives you the look but luckily i've retained a lot of the initial pigment from both that appointment and my previous one where I got micro shading. But I do have an appointment in May. We are going to be moving back down to San Diego soon. So I have an appointment in May to get my microblading touched up as well as look at places to live. So it kind of just worked out perfectly with the timing. My plan is because my eyebrows are so thick and unruly is once my microblading is healed, I want to get my eyebrows laminated. I think that would really help keep them in shape. They just grow so crazy. I have to trim them so much, which would be fine, except my eyebrows are also super sparse. So I need that tattoo in there in order to make them look full <laughs> because otherwise they're just sparse and thick at the same time. I feel like I do this for a long time. I kind of just do it until I'm satisfied, till the soap 
is kind of dried. Now I'm going to fill them in where I need to and I am using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. This is another new product to me that I picked up in March. I have been using the Anastasia Brow Pen for the longest time but I like this one so much better and it's half the price. Once I'm done filling it in, it feels like I just got my eyebrows touched up with microblading. So it's perfect in the meantime. And I can kind of go over my microblading, which is awesome. Then I'm taking a clean spoolie. My goal is to get them looking like this without having to fill them in basically. So microbladed and then laminated. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I am priming my lids with the eyeshadow primer from Milani. This is a new product to me. <laughs> I kind of just picked it up on a whim at Ulta and I've actually been really liking it. It reminds me of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. Of course, like a fraction of the cost. a little underneath my eyes okay so now i'm going to be using a palette that i got in my boxy charm as well it is the lime crime venus 3 palette so i'm going to start with this matte mauve color matte mauvey lilac color it is the shade dreamy so i'm going to start by taking that in the crease And actually, before I move on, just adding a little bit of like a light foundation. I'm using the Giorgio Armani foundation underneath my eyebrows. I kind of forgot to do this. Just to kind of clean it up before I move on to my eyeshadow. Now just blending out that dreamy shade. And I'm just using the larger end of a Urban Decay Naked Palette brush. And I'm just using this lighter pink, like a matte shimmer. It is the shade Rapture. I'm gonna use that to blend out that dreamy shade. And I'm using a Morphe M505 brush. It is a very large, fluffy brush. And on the majority of my lid, I'm going to use Heavenly, which is kind of like a rose gold shimmer. It's very light. And I'm using that same fluffy brush, even kind of taking it in the crease a little bit. So this is my first time using this palette. I'm not too impressed with the pigment of these eyeshadows. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of Dreamy in the crease. And on the outer corner, I'm going to take that dark brown. It is the shade Ecstasy. And I'm using a E38 brush from Sigma. Kind of bringing it in at an angle. Just kind of blending it into the outer crease. So I'm not crazy about the pigment of the eyeshadows in this palette, but the blendability is pretty good. I'm gonna try that Heavenly shade, the one I used on my lid. I'm gonna try it with a damp brush. That's definitely better. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my face from here. So I am gonna be using the new Kat Von D Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I did do a review on this and a wear test. If you haven't checked it out already, I'll go ahead and link it here. And this is in the shade Tan 063. But first I'm going to prime my face with the NYX The Marshmallow Primer. This is another new product to me that I have been testing out. I do like it. I don't know if I would say it's one of my favorite primers. I do enjoy the scent of it. It smells really good. It's very light. So I'm using a damp Real Techniques sponge. And I am, for the most part, going to be trying to avoid my under eyes because the concealer that I'm going to be using, if you seen my review of this foundation, you know that it does not work well together. It's the new Ultra Creamy Concealer from Tarte. They're just both way too creamy. So 
I really do love this foundation. I know it's not for everyone. Okay, so now for concealer. Again, using the Ultra Creamy Concealer from Tarte. And I'm using the shade Medium Sand. And keeping it very light. And I like to use a dry sponge to blend this out. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to blush. It's another new release from Tarte. It is their Sea Breezy Cream Blush, and this is the shade Berry Bliss. So it comes in a cute little aqua colored compact, and this is the shade Berry Bliss. And I'm gonna use my finger, you can use a brush. So far, I really like this blush. I've only used it a few times since I got it, but I really do like it. got quite a bit of pigment and it blends really nicely. Okay, the next new product that I'm going to be using is this Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer from Giorgio Armani. This is the shade 10. I believe there's like four or five different shades you can get of this. It is just basically a glow enhancer. You can use it kind of as a bronzer if it's dark enough for you. I got the darkest one, I think, and it's not dark enough to be used as a bronzer on my skin tone. So I kind of use it as a highlight. I've also added it to other foundations to give it a really glowy finish. I think that's my favorite way to use it. But I'm going to use it as a highlight today. So I just put a little bit on my hand and I'm going in with a brush. And I know I'm like already pretty glowy right now from the foundation. It gives an extra glow. We're going for a very glowy look today. And I love the way that Giorgio Armani product smell it's so good so the glow is there it is happening now the next product i'm going to use is another george armani new release it is the new luminous silk glow fusion powder so this is what it looks like and it comes with a little brush to apply it so far i'm not sure how i feel about this product i do like it when i'm using cream products because it doesn't mattify them it is a very glowy finishing powder so i'm just taking some on this brush and lightly going over my face it's hard to get a good amount on this brush, so I do tend to use a fluffier brush. The brush feels really good on the skin. Because the powder is so glowy, it can kind of enhance any creasing or texture you may have on your skin. I'm just gonna kind of go over some areas where I want a little bit more of a setting power with a fluffy brush. And this setting powder is so thin, I guess, <laughs> or sheer, that I'm even going over my blush a little bit. And even though it's a powder on top of a cream, I mean a cream on top of a powder, it still goes on fairly smoothly. And now for bronzer, I'm just using my Ace Butte Bronzed in Paradise palette. It is my favorite bronzer slash like contour powder at the moment. And I use the two center shades. I use a little bit of the lighter two of those shades on my nose. Now for a little bit of extra highlight, I'm using the Love Cheek Duo from Natasha Denona. And I'm gonna use this in my inner corner just because I don't really wanna use the lightest shimmer in this palette, which is like a light pink. So I'm gonna use that for my inner corner and for my nose highlight. And it is still kind of pink. It is a pink and golden champagne. A little bit on my brow bones. I'm also just using that fluffy brush that I was using for my eyes and just re-blending the outer corners. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish my eyes, moving on to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start off with Dreamy, which again is that matte mauve. I'm gonna take this all underneath my lower lash line. Blending it with that outer corner. And 
I'm really just buffing that out and just layering it on just to build up some color. Now I'm going to deepen up the outer corners of my lower lash line with Ecstasy, which is that dark brown that I used on the outer corner. Now for lashes, I'm going to be using these Kala Vault Lashes. They are the winged ones. First, I'm gonna get myself a very thin base with some liquid liner. And this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Just curling my lashes. And for mascara, I'm using the Man Eater Mascara from Tarte. I'm just going over that band with a little bit of eyeliner. Okay, so now moving on to the lips. Right now, I have a little bit of this NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Lip Conditioner. I got this in one of those little gifts that you get at Ulta when you spend a certain amount with a certain brand. So what I've been doing is I apply this before I do the rest of my face, so it kind of conditions my lips and my lips are ready and conditioned. I also just kind of use this as like a lip balm throughout the day. And I'm kind of just like buffing it off. Now, one of my favorite products that I bought in March is the NARS Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm. I'm going to buy every single shade in these because they're so nice. They're so pigmented and they look beautiful on. They give a very soft color. They're not like super harsh like a lipstick. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use it with this look because I kind of had a different look plan before I decided to use the Venus 3 palette. And this lipstick is kind of like a reddish brown, like a brick shade. It is the shade Touch Me. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna want it with this look, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on. I don't really line my lips when I'm using this because I kind of like that soft look. And I know this isn't new, but I'm so glad I found it. I was, I didn't even know they existed. I think they were released in January or February. And I think it's so pretty. And I think I might keep it on, just add a nude lip gloss on top. And for that, I'm going to use this one from Persona. It is the shade Honey. I believe I got it in March's BoxyCharm as well. It is a really pretty nude lip gloss. Okay, now I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now I'm just letting my hair down. I think I might just go over it with a flat iron. And my bangs are kind of meant to be curtain bangs. They're kind of meant to grow into curtain bangs. And my hairdresser, she's telling me that I have to train this side of my bangs to curl this way because this side does it pretty much on its own but this side wants to go straight down so I kind of have to train it a little bit. I think I'm actually going to put my hair half up. I'm gonna curl these bottom pieces in with my flat iron. Okay so I'm pretty much almost ready and I'm wearing this like white long sleeve turtleneck with this blue periwinkle sweater vest from Shein. And I'm gonna change into some high-waisted straight leg jeans. I'm gonna be right back and do that really quick. And I'm gonna probably be wearing these Steve Madden loafers. They're kind of like a dupe for the Gucci loafers, which I still really want, but these will do for now. And then probably tie in the shoes with a black belt and purse. And the last thing I wanted to show you is a perfume. I have been looking for new scents and I came across Gucci Memoir. I really love like earthy, woody, natural scents. And this is definitely in that realm. I saw so many good reviews about it. So this is what it looks like and it smells really good. I would say it's like almost unisex because it is just a very natural scent. I was trying to describe it to my husband and I came up with like an elegant wedding in the Redwood Forest. Elevated and and romantic, but also like piney and woodsy. That's kind of how I would describe it. Adding a little bit behind my ear. 
and a little bit in my hair as well and that's it i'm pretty much ready to go thank you guys so much for getting ready with me let me know what you guys think of some of the march releases even ones that i didn't talk about today and if there's anything you guys are excited about for april or that you guys want to see on my channel definitely let me know in the comments that is all for today thank you guys so much for watching remember that you are loved you are seen and you are beautiful if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time